In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good and morning, welcome Father. to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Let's begin our celebration by first pausing for a while. Call to mind all our sins and all our failures. Let us ask God for forgiveness and strength. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my to brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I've done, done and in what, what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my, my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed in that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We had been reassured about you, brothers and sisters, in our every distress and affliction to your faith, for we now live if you stand firm in the Lord. What thanksgiving then can we render to God for you, for all the joy we feel on your account before our God? Night and day, we pray beyond measure to see in person and to remedy the deficiencies of your faith. Now, may God himself, our Father, and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you. And may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we have for you, so as to strengthen your heart to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his holy ones. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, and now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long have pity on your servants. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord of our God be ours, Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Please stand. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake. 
for ye do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Who then is a faithful and prudent servant whom the master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master, on his arrival, finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is long delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an un unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Siguro malamang 100% akong sigurado. Malamang, malamang na 100% akong tama kung sasabihin kong lahat tayo ay umaasa na makaka na darating sa langit. Lahat tayo umaasa, not saling sigurado kasi hindi tayo makasigurado. Pero lahat tayo at least ay umaasa o we're hoping no? that we reach God's kingdom, that we reach the kingdom of heaven. La tayo. Bakit ko sinabi 100% sa tayo? Kasi anong point ng pagsisimba natin kung hindi tayo naniniwala sa langit, di ba? Anong point ng pagdarasal natin kung hindi tayo naniniwala sa afterlife, sa buhay ng next life, you know? the, the real life. Anong saysay ng ating pakikiusap sa Diyos, pakikiusap sa mahal na birhen, pagpunta-punta sa simbahan, kung di tayo naniniwala <clears throat> na merong eternal life, merong buhay na walang han na nag-iintay sa atin o maring nag na na para sa atin ngayon. Pero para matupad dyan lahat, kailangan muna maging maabot natin yung fullness ng eternal life kailangan mo nang matapos yung buhay natin dito. Kaya nga yun yung sinasabi ng gospel sa atin ngayon. Darating at darating yung panahon. Makakasiguro tayo dyan, 100%. Darating at darating yung panahon na susudiin tayo ng Diyos. The Son of Man will come. The Son of God will come. And when our time is up, the Son of God, the, or God will come for us and, and judge us. Judge us. Kung ikaw ba'y tapat o hindi tapat sa dapat mong ginagawa sa, da sa bawat oras, bawat araw ng iyong buhay. Tapat ka ba? So, at ang importante ding na sinasabi ng gospel, ng Panginoon sa atin sa gospel is, darating at darating ang Diyos pero hindi natin alam kung kailan. Walang nakakalam except God the Father. Malang nakakalam kung kailan, anong oras, anong araw, anong taon, anong buwan, walang nakakalam. Kaya ang sinasabi is always stay awake. Be ready. Laging handa dapat, laging bukas ang mata, laging gising. Like as much as we can. Gising hindi lang yung physically na gising, kundi gising ang isip, gising ang puso, gising ang espiritu. Sabihin, ano pa pag gising ka? Diba? You're busy. You're busy doing things, doing, doing what you ought to be doing. Yun ang tunay na gising. Kasi may gising na nakatunga nga lang. Hindi gising yun. Diba? Daydreaming. Kahit, kahit umaga na nanaginip, nangangarap, hindi yun gising. Kasi sabi sa atin ng Panginoon is stay awake. Stay awake. Gising. Ibig sabihin, dahil gising ka, ginagawa mo kung ano yung dapat mong ginagawa. Hindi lang in terms of chores in the house or your work in your whatever profession you're in. But gising in terms of the spirit, no? ginagawa natin kung ano yung makakabuti. 
para sa ating spirito, kung ano makaka-contribute para sa ating next life, kung ano makakatulong sa atin para makarating tayo kaagad sa kaharian ng langit, sa kaharian ng Diyos, para ma-enjoy natin ang fullness ng eternal life. Gising. Gising tayo kaya be alert, be ready kasi nga hindi natin alam kung kailan darating ang Diyos. Merong merong ibang may uh, pang examples o kaya eh, hints o advice na binigay si St. Paul sa mga taga-Thessalonians, sa mga te- taga-Thessalonica, sa mga Thessalonians. Sabi niya, May the Lord make you increase and abound in love. And this is the way to be awake. Ito yung way. Paano tayo magiging gising sa ating spiritu sa, sa para sa eternal life? Is to increase and abound in love, not just for myself, but for one another. For all. Sana all. Diba? To increase and abound in love. Sabihin, Minu-minuto, dapat lagi tayo nagpapakita, naghahanap ng paraan para magpakita ng pagmamahal sa ibang tao. Kung ano man yung tawag sa atin, hamon sa atin sa bawat minuto ng ating buhay, papano tayo makapagmamahal at mas, mas makapagmamahal pa sa ating kasama sa bahay, sa ating kapwa, sa mga nakikita natin sa kali. Paano tayo mag, mag-i-increase? Aangat sa pagmamahal. At sumunod ay sabi niya, to strengthen your hearts to be blameless in holiness before God our Father. To be, to be strengthened in holiness before God our Father. To be holier. So para magkadikit yun, di ba? If we always look for ways to show love for other people, then we're increasing in holiness. We are growing in holiness. Hindi, hindi tayo nag-grow sa holiness lamang sa pagsimba. Nakakatulong yan, di ba? Nakakatulong magsimba, nakakatulong magkumpisal, magkomunyon, magdasal. Nakakatulong yan lahat. But all these things should manifest, should be shown in our daily lives. Di ba? Hindi lang dito sa loob ng simbahan. So, an increase in holiness means reaching out more and more to the people around us, whether at home, or in our workplace, or in the marketplace, or in the streets, anywhere, wherever we find ourselves, whichever, whoever um, calls us for more love, calls us for help, calls us for, for um, fraternity and fellowship, to reach out to others. So, nandun ang, ang tunay na holiness ay yung nakakarating sa ibang tao. Hindi lang yung between me and my God. Okay, yung maganda yun. Pero kulang. Why? Di ba sabi ng Diyos, Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you do unto me. So, hindi lang yung pagdarasal lang hinahanap ng Diyos. Di ba hinahanap din ng Diyos ang meron siyang, merong actual interaction and giving of ourselves to one another. That is holiness. Kung lagi tayong naghahanap ng ways to do that, la- naghahanap tayo ng, ng palagi ng opportunity to do that, then we are awake. Then we are ready. To, we keep on cleansing ourselves from all our impurities. No? Sa lahat ng ating mga pagkakamali, lahat ng kasalanan, pinipilit natin magbagong buhay palagi, na lagi na, na, na sinusubok natin, sinusubukan natin, sinisikap natin, na lagi ayusin yung buhay natin, then we are being ready. So that anytime the Lord comes, we are ready. We are awake. Because we are doing what God expects us to do. So as we continue sa ating araw-araw, sana hindi natin lagi makalimutan what God asks us. To be holy, which means to love and love and love some more. Let us all stand now. In the gospel, the Lord Jesus has called us to watch for the day of his return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for his beloved Son. 
after each petition, we say, Father of Jesus, we will await your love. Father of Jesus, we await your love. That the church may not be satisfied with what she has done, but continue to proclaim the gospel of repentance and realize the need for conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, we await your love. That our communities may be fitting places for the building of God's kingdom by our respect, love, and concern for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, we await your love. That we may always be ready for the coming of God's kingdom by remaining watchful but never fearful. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, we await your love. That the sick and the dying may seek God's will in their trials and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, we await your love. That the faithful departed may be found ready to meet the Lord whom they long to see face to face. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, we await your love. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Father Jesus, we await your love. Heavenly Father, listen to the prayers we have made with sincere hearts. Help us to grow in holiness as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who gained for yourself a people of, by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Please kneel. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you away, take the away the sins of the world, world have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, my and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Father, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Announcement. The Dominican community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is pleased to inform you the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org at online pamisa where you will find available online and other options for donation. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As ascended, we go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We now bless the sick and pray for your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs>